Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. I wanted to make this quick video about just how to care for your boat after your trip. You go out, you know, what to clean it with, what are some of the tools that'll just make the whole cleaning experience better. It looks like Otis is joining us back there. But what I, what I recommend doing is using, using I guess less is more in most cases. And whatever you use, whatever, whatever kind of soap you use, make sure that it's biodegradable, number one. If we need to take care of our waterways. It is just, it totally pains me going into a marina and you can smell bleach. You know, some people use bleach on their boats to get some stains out. That's terrible for the environment, right? My, my, rec my recommendation is if, you, if you're not gonna swim in it, don't put it on your boat because it's gonna end up in our waterways and we of course don't wanna be swimming around in a bunch of bleach. So get something that is like this, as biodegradable. This is from uh, Better Boat. They sent this in to, to, for me to check, test it out. So far, I've been very impressed. I've been using it for the past really like three to six months. It's been a while and I'm really digging it. And, uh, and it's, again, it is biodegradable, which is awesome. And another thing too that is really helpful is to have a brush of some sort, something that you can just stand up. You don't have to lay down or you know, get on your knees and scrub at the bottom. And this is a brush they sent as well from, from Better Boat. I've been really happy with it. It is, it is um, it's fine enough to where I can just even, even wash the motor with it but it's, it's actually has enough, enough punch in there to really get stains out as well without having to, to do a deep scrub. And so really, and, and then obviously having a, uh, a nozzle that has a rubber, rubber around the end. Some, some of these nozzles have, have metal, and if you accidentally drop it on your boat, I've had this happen years ago, where it was a, a, a nozzle that had a, a metal exterior. It was actually probably, if I took the cap off, this would be it, but make sure it's not metal because if you drop it on the boat, you can actually chip the boat. I had. Uh, you know, part of the, uh, the, the clear coat get chipped from just dropping a hose on there. And finally is just make sure to wash it as soon as you can once you're done on the water. The longer it has to dry, the harder it is to get off. And so in many cases, I will actually keep this brush on the boat, not in many cases, in, in all cases, I keep the brush on the boat. That way in case, you know, something happens where I throw, I throw the cast net or if there's a bloody fish that's thrashing around on the deck, I can just get out quickly get a bucket of water with it just normal seawater, dunk it and just start scrubbing the boat right then. If, when blood dries on the boat, it is just such a pain to get it off. So any stains, any sort of mess that you can get, away, get off while you're on the boat is gonna pay huge dividends when you come back. So I just came back from the trip. As you can see, the deck is, it's not, uh, it's not perfectly clean, but it also doesn't have any big stains. So we're gonna go ahead and get, get after this. This should just take probably 15, 20 minutes max to go ahead and do a quick scrub. It'll be ready for the next trip. And again, it's all about just using the, the easy stuff, right? Get some, some biodegradable soap, get a good brush, and just have a good, a good hose nozzle that doesn't, uh, doesn't ruin your boat that's nice and, and, uh, and rubber or plastic lined all the way around. And you should, should be able to, to keep your boat clean without having any issues. Any questions at all, leave a comment down below. If you know of any other good biodegradable soaps, please let us know as well. This is where this isn't a plug for this company by any means. They just sent some in and, and so far I've, been, I've enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your feedback on, uh, on which, which other products would be good choices that we can, we can use to keep our boats clean while we keep our waterways clean as well. Because even if you're not over the water like this, if you're in your driveway cleaning your boat, that water's gonna go somewhere and it'll end up going into either a lake or our beloved inshore saltwater waterways. So it's on us to make sure that we keep it as clean as possible. So thank you so much for your time and watching the video. Questions at all, comment down below. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.